Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf, and today we're at the Ping Proving Grounds. I'm joined by James Lee, a master fitter for Ping here. Uh, very excited because we have new blueprint irons here in yes, 2024, James. So you've got both in your hands, um, the, the club heads there, and, and I think you know, people think blueprint initially, they probably think of that small, tiny muscle right. back from a few years ago, but um, you guys made some improvements and and uh, some refinements to the shape and actually Absolutely. have two shapes now. So right. um, let's dive right into it here. The, that's kind of what's the story behind these two iron heads and what kind of prompted Ping to create these ones? So we have the Blueprint T and we now have a Blueprint S. Yeah. So the Blueprint T, a little bit smaller like the previous Blueprint. Blueprint S, a little more forgiving, a little bit larger head. What's nice about the Blueprint S is three, four and five iron. There's a patent precision pocket. So it was a little more forgiveness sure. if you wanted to play in that longer iron. Yeah. But also the lofts are the same. So now we can do a nice blended set without mm -hmm. having to strengthen or weaken the lofts. Yeah, I know those, that blended set seems to be like a, a, a trend that's kind of taking over golf right now right. where so many players are playing a combination of different irons in their bag. And so, um, plus I know there's, you also have like the I-230 still in the family of irons. Absolutely. So there's all these different uh, types of combo sets and, and things that you guys can do now with having these two irons as well. Cause I'm right. pretty sure there, is it 33 in the seven iron? Is that correct? Yes. And like I said, even with the I-230, yeah. we, all three, you can have right. three different models within one set right. without having to mess around with the lofts. Yeah. So the gapping still stays consistent. So what is the difference then between, cause I see like a, a kind of a shallow cavity type of design with the Blueprint S. So explain maybe the differences between the Blueprint S then and the I-230 so we can kind of differentiate those two as well. So the I-230 is not fully forged. Yeah. Okay. So, and again, a little bit more forgiving, a little larger head, a little bit more offset. So, and as you go down to the S and the T, the offset lessens a little bit. Mm -hmm. Sure. So a little bit more workability. Absolutely. So clearly these are, you know, with for, I mean, we'll get to it a little bit at the end, I imagine, but uh, typically these types of irons are designed for the, 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 the skilled players, players that are going to be probably working the ball a little bit. Uh, right. That center of gravity isn't quite low and, you right. know, with a wide sole, right? I mean, these Correct. are players that are trying to work the ball or maybe hit, uh, get some precision and consistency in their game. And right? if you played the I-210s and yes. or playing the I-230s, there's nothing wrong with going to the Blueprint S. Right, absolutely. They feel good, very forgiving, and I think you'll enjoy it. Awesome, well, I think we're gonna do some testing here today. So Sounds I'm actually good. gonna hit the shots. Um, we'll do go through both Blueprint irons, the S and the T. We'll have the Trackman numbers here, and uh, then we'll come back and see Perfect. what the data shows us. Let's do it. So this thing is, I mean, it's definitely, it's definitely small, but I mean, it's, it's not like, it seems to be, it's a tiny bit, is it a tiny bit bigger than the original blueprint or is it still at that size? It's around that size. Okay. Yep. I like that. That's about, I, I, that's, that's about, really that's good. One of the straightest seven irons I've ever hit. I think that was really good. 127 ball speed, 180 carry. Yeah. Right that down the middle. That seems about, that seems about right, right there. I love that shot shape. Yeah, I've developed a tiny little draw over the last couple of years. It, just, it seems like it's getting more away from this fade that I had. It's right. Slowly kind no, of it's, turning into I a draw. I love it. Well, you're coming from the inside and the yep. face is closed a little bit. So that's yep. perfect. Definitely I've developed an inside out swing. Pretty consistent there. Mm-hmm. That might have been a little bit on the heavy side. Yeah, it was a little bit. Yep. I was wondering if that was Ball gonna... speed dropped a little bit. Yep. Yeah, it was just a little bit. But what I like too is, I'm actually kind of pleasantly surprised that it didn't, I mean, I dropped what, like five yards? Right, you didn't you lose know? that much yeah. ball speed by not yeah. hitting it in that's, the center. That's, you know, typically you get a muscle back type of club and it, right. you might lose a lot more than that. One more with that one, and I'm gonna flatten it out and okay. go from green to blue. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, like I mentioned to you before. I think I'm at a point now where I actually probably don't need the, the right. green dot anymore. <laughs> but I do like that shaft for you too. That is solid. All right, let me make it a little adjustment there. Okay. Sweet. How's it feel? It feels really good. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Yeah. It was a, there was a little bit of me, because that's a smaller iron than I've ever really played. Right. So a little bit of me at first was like, that's tiny. But um, 
I like the I like how consistent that carry distance has been, even with a couple of oh yeah for sure not perfect perfect strikes. And look still, at your dispersion. Yeah, that's uh, I'll take that all day. I mean, yeah, I love the dispersion there. All right, so I'm just gonna move this from green to blue. So okay. instead of two degrees upright, one degree upright. Okay. Because statically, you don't fit into a green. No, yeah, I, I, I'm, yeah, I know that, yeah. <laughs> All right. There you go. Awesome. <clears throat> Another one that's uh, thin. I'll throw that one out. Yeah, I, uh, I like when you do that. Those bad <laughs> shots, it's good. All right, this one will be good. Ooh. Face open on that one. Yep, definitely. I felt it was one of those, I felt it as I made impact. That's a little better. Do you like that line angle? I actually like the, uh, the green. That green better? It's just two degrees upright. Yeah. Yeah, because this start direction for you on this one is staying out to the right a little bit. Okay. And not coming back. Yeah, I definitely that. Well, that last one was I think it was that one that was far way far right was I think right. more user error, but that one started out I think farther right than any of the other ones did. That's another one. That's that was just your club half face open also. Yeah. One more with that one. <clears throat> That was probably a little correction there. Yeah, yeah. That was, that was a, probably a little bit. <laughs> That's of me. what good golfers do. Yeah, correcting it. But all right, let me switch out. Okay. Let's just go back to the green just for a couple. Okay. And then I want to compare it to the uh, blueprint S. Perfect. Yeah. I do love the feel of that club. You do? I do love it. Yeah. I mean, the solid strikes with that club are like that's exactly how you want an iron to feel. And we're gonna keep you in the green. <laughs> we're gonna keep yeah, you two degrees up. That's right? fine. That's that's perfect. Yeah, typically, oh. I think that's probably, I mean, what's the th rule of thumb on, a, on like, spin rate for an iron? Is it about for, club just 10 under thousand, seven, just Yeah, under? Okay. times 10. But, I mean, uh, for you, right under 7,000 okay. would yeah. be good. So that's the Blueprint S. Okay. I like it. Definitely a little bit bigger, but it's actually, it's definitely not like, I don't think it's a, it's a it's that much of a Still smaller than yeah. your I-230. Yeah. You know, it's not like you're looking at two completely different clubs, you know? Right. I mean, it's, they are obviously different models, but it, it, they don't scream like wildly different. I think I just uh, developed the uh, more in to out as the day goes on. Yeah, no. <laughs> plus seven. There we go. Great ball there. Yep. That was, that just felt so pure. Yeah, I've had a lot of great feedback with that, with the S, mm -hmm. with the feel. Yeah, it's 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 awesome. And what I like about that too is so that first swing was you know a very much an in to out, kind of hung it to the right. And that second one, I was maybe my better one of my better swings of the day. Right. But distance wise, it's only a five yard difference between them carry wise. So right. that gives me confidence to know like if I happen to come up here and just pull one, or you know pull, you know, closed path and face. Right. I'm not going to get that, like, that just screams and goes like 190 carry. The hot, you know? Right, yeah. exactly. I'm not, I know it's, it's still going to be consistent. Right. With your ball speed and your, in your distance. It's even that, I mean, that's, I'm just hovering right around that, just under 180 yeah, carry. It's a lot of spin, but that's, <laughs> that's, that's almost better in some cases to. But I'm going to try something else also. Okay. Because with that new uh, 3D, oh, I can power right. spec it. Oh, yeah. So we take off a little loft and see what that does for you as well. So let me do that. Okay. How's this one feel compared to the Blueprint T? It's very similar. I mean, I, I it's... Which I, is I a good thing. A, yeah, I think it's a little bit ever so slightly softer with the T on like a solid strike. But okay. really there's... 
not a, a lot of difference, and, and which is a really good thing. Like I, very pleasant uh, s feel and sound with both. Nice. All right, so I'm gonna power spec this one. That this, new system for fitting is gonna be awesome for oh like for our, sure for our fitters. I mean, it's gonna be right. so cool. Helps with launch and spin, bring it mm -hmm. down. As long as someone's not really steep. And yeah. If you steep and I power spec it, it's gonna right, start yeah. digging. Yeah, you're gonna get that kind of <laughs> right. You, it's gonna be a very flat ball flight at that point. Right. All right, so that's the power spec head. Let's okay. see what that one does. So what does this do to the loft then? Does it go? Obviously What's that? It gets stronger loft. How? Yes. Okay. It is a stronger loft. So this, in theory, should go further, but yes. it should also have lower. Lower loft. launch, low spin, more ball speed. That was a little bit towards the toe, which is probably why it's out left. Yeah, a little gear effect kicking yep. in. Okay. 13 is 67. That's actually not... Yeah, that's, that's where you want to. Yeah, that's kind of be. That's I was gonna say. It felt like it felt like a knuckleball contact Cut off like, the toe a little off bit. Off the toe, but right. the fact that it still spun that much, I think, is. I mean, it's. I like that. Here's a. But even the misses. One. Yeah. Are still good. Yeah. That's what's nice about the, the new Blueprint T and the Blueprint S. See that? That's fascinating. So I, hit, I, I mean, I didn't take, I, I didn't touch any right, ground no grass. with that one. That was, <laughs> that was all golf ball. It was right. felt like it hit the equator of it, and it. Sixty four hundred spin. Yeah. There's a good one. Fastest ball speed right there. So that's what we see also. Anytime we power spec, yeah, we're going to see a little faster ball speed. Right. Now your launch stayed around the same, 15, okay. 7,000, but 185 carry instead of 178. So you picked up mm -hmm. about seven yards. Nice, nice. And you'd be a prime candidate for a power spec head. See, so, yeah, it's funny because I think like, like I think most people would say because of the speed I have that I would not be a power spec candidate, but it's about the spin in this case, right? Trying to trying to get the that. launch and spin yeah. down. Yeah. yeah, but that's a good point. If someone is, you know, you're right now you're swinging at almost 94. Right. It's like, well, we don't need a power spec because that's going to give you more. Right, you don't right. need the distance. But if it'll help with launch and spin and it's not getting crazy, you're not hitting at right. 210. Yep. Right. 185 is still yeah. manageable. Because today it's a nice calm day. There's no wind anywhere. You know, that's how right. Arizona is down here. Right. But uh, I go up to Minnesota in the summer and you get, you know, lots of 15, 20 mile an hour days and spinning. Uh, you know, that's what's going to help you. could be a problem. Absolutely. A little thin on that one, too. A little bit, yeah. And that was your fastest ball speed. Was it really? <laughs> yeah, 132.4. Did I swing? Oh, I did swing a little faster, I guess. 186. But... No, your, your clubhead speed stays the same, 94. Oh, wow. Yeah. 186 that, carry. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, that... <laughs> that's how good they are. That should... I'm actually like... <laughs> I'm actually like surprised by that because that did not feel. I mean, it, I mean, it felt. I mean, it felt fine, but like right. it felt like I mishit it, right? Right. And it was about uh, eight yards off the center of the green. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, that's kind of a similar contact that time. Yeah, same launch. A little bit low on the face felt like. Sixty-eight hundred spin. At 182. Yeah. So yeah, because I'm I'm looking at the, the chart here on the monitor, and the spin consistency level is it's almost more consistent too with the power spec, right? Is it right, just as consistent, right? Yeah. So that brings you under 7,000. Brings me under 7,000, and it gives me like it's still consistent even with a couple misses. Absolutely. In there. I don't know. I, I might <laughs> might might have found a new. That's I said. You're a uh, you're a good candidate for power spec. That was solid. Yeah. That was your fastest ball speed. Yeah, that felt fast. 134 ball speed. Same exact club head speed. So you didn't swing any faster to get more ball speed. But see, Almost the, 190. But see there's even, like, because that was like, that thing turned too. And right. typically that lowers the spin and it's like, but not this time. That's because. 12 launch at 7,000. That's so, that, I feel like that's. <laughs> that's really good that's really good is what i'm saying man 
Give me one more. Can I just like hit this all day? Or? <laughs> it may be a tad low on the finish. 132 one ball group, speed. Maybe. 6,900, 187. Ah, that's, that's, that's <laughs> so good. Now, the Blueprint T was ball speed of 127, so five miles an hour faster. Yeah. With the S and power spec. Okay. Uh, 178 compared to 187, so about 10 yards. Yep. And that's what I typically see. Okay. I usually see about seven to 10 yards anytime I power spec. When you power spec, right, yep. right, okay. So we're seeing the, the faster ball speed. Yep. We're seeing the, the extra carry. And as far as launch and spin rate, going from, you were averaging probably about 14, and now you're at 13. Yeah. So it only dropped down a little bit, but then you went from spin rate of about 74 down to 60, 69. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is really good. And it was more, the spin rate got more consistent too. Right. Up there. I mean, I'm, I'm not deviating as far from average, so to speak, there. Right, you're plus or minus 182. Yeah, I love that. As far as your RPMs there. God, I gotta say, I. I would have never thought of power spec being something that would be for just because I, I swing relatively fast. Right. But um, I I can't man, I can't argue with the numbers. Right. They, and I don't just base it on your your club head speed. Right. I look at all right. the can you know the launch and the spin rates and and the window. If you mm -hmm. like that window, because sometimes the power spec will bring it too low, mm -hmm. and then we don't want that ball hitting and rolling off. Right? right. We still want a good land angle, and your land angle is above forty, which is yeah. perfect. Yeah. So that's, again, that's why you're a good candidate for a power wow. spec. So if you notice in the Blueprint T, ball speed just a little bit slower than the Blueprint S. Yeah. But then we went to a power spec Blueprint S. So not only do we get a little bit more distance, uh, better launch, uh, better spin rates, but look at your dispersion. Yeah, that's... Uh... That's your tightest dispersion. And like that it. was the S over the T for you. Right, you know? right. And I, I, and I, am, I would call myself a, not a... I probably wouldn't call myself a muscle back player. I do like the, I mean, I love the feel of the S2 because there was some responsiveness that I probably needed and, and enjoyed, right. but still just a buttery feel at, right. at impact on a good swing. So No, that's perfect. And then, uh, I mean, to, to see the, the best dispersion to be farther up, because obviously it's, if you're hitting the ball farther, it's, it's a little more difficult generally right. to be more accurate. But right. uh, when you have the right fitting, I guess, maybe that's not, I mean, it's, it's still easy to be accurate. Right. And that's why you're more of a blueprint S guy mm -hmm. than a T. You're not playing, you know, every single week you're not playing in those tournaments right. mm -hmm. so you want a little bit more forgiveness correct and that's where that dispersion that i showed you right here is a little tighter than when right. we were hitting the blueprint t yeah sweet i mean yeah this is this has been some really good testing i because <laughs> i think we i mean for one both irons performed well i mean there was no question about that right um and then also you got to kind of get the insight too on the fitting and um how you know the a the new system works b the how, the, you know, which color I am, uh, which I've been playing green and uh, there was a reason for it, I guess. Right. Um, but that's cool. And then to see kind of the numbers get a lot better down the stretch was, was fun. So uh, absolutely really good testing here. I think for sure. You're a blueprint S guy power spec. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> I think I got a new set of irons. There you go. <laughs>all right well james um i really enjoyed that testing uh that awesome. is as you know pure and repetitive as i've hit a seven iron in some time and so yeah, you i got good yeah, kudos to the fitting but also to the golf clubs and so sure. uh, i think you know kind of to recap the performance i think you know we started with the the, the blueprint t mm -hmm. very soft feeling very consistent um and then we kind of you had me basically go into the blueprint s and we also did some lie angle changes there so uh, kind of give us uh, a recap, a little bit of how that all went down and what went through your mind as you were kind of fitting me for these irons. Here. Right. So you being a good player, which I found out right in the beginning <laughs> during our interview process, I went to the T first mm -hmm. and you hit a really consistent. Well, then we went to the S because, you know, you said you don't play as much. Right. You're not playing in tournaments. So I'm thinking, OK, let's give you something with more forgiveness. Mm -hmm. So we went to the S and tighter dispersion, a little bit more distance. Yeah. But your launch and spin was still a little high. So I said, let me put you in a power spec. So we did that. Dispersion stayed the right. same, but you get probably about seven more yards. Yeah, it was definitely like I it was more yards and the tighter dispersion at the For same sure. time is a rare combination to, to find in, For sure. in, a, in an iron fitting. So um, let's kind of re recap each iron here. So we'll start with the Blueprint T. Talk about like who that club is designed for. When, when Ping put that one together, 
uh, the type of player they had in mind for the blueprint team. So this is kind of tour inspired, yep. uh, definitely for that better player, you know, collegiate player, mm -hmm. you're playing in tournaments, um, want to work the ball a little bit, mm -hmm. a little bit more than your average person. Right. And then the S, obviously, you're not playing in so many tournaments, you're not yeah. that pro player, and you just want to have fun but still compete. Yeah, right. You still want to, with the blueprint S, you're still probably a pretty decent player Absolutely. in the sense that you're still maybe hitting, you know, working the ball a little bit, right. manipulating your ball flight, but um, there's still enough forgiveness there. That definitely helped me when I was testing a couple of swings there. I might have hit it thin a couple times. And it still worked And it out. still is like the right. same numbers, which right. is baffling to me so um <laughs> which you wouldn't have gotten with the t right right uh, so the miss hits showed exactly. up more on these yep. than it did with the exactly the exactly well um yeah i mean i i am excited about these irons for for 2024 i know our fitters are um, very excited for them so um that, i guess that kind of concludes it here we're we're thrilled about these and uh, i appreciate you taking the time to, to give us the information today break things down um, golfers, make sure you schedule your fitting for Blueprint S and Blueprint T irons this year in 2024. Clearly, by um, I, I'm going to be I'm going to be a full uh, endorsement of these irons. I mean, th those were awesome. So schedule that fitting, make yourself a better player, hit better iron shots with that fitting for Blueprint S or Blueprint T. Thank you, James, again for this. You're it's quite awesome. welcome.